Mate, that was a, a masterclass. Yeah, mate, we, uh, we had a tough game tonight, though. Uh, I don't think the scoreboard uh, reflects uh, how tough a game it was. Uh, Saints came out out of us, and uh, we knew in that second half we had to go 100% uh, straight into them just to, to try to shut that game down. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're um, pleased with the performance tonight. World champions, and you, you've been on a mission since arriving here in the UK to, to get your hands on that trophy. Yeah, mate, well, we've had uh, we've had one job uh, in our minds, and yeah, yeah, that was to get to get this game uh, and put a good performance in as well. The special side, you know, how does it feel to be part of it? Yeah, it's great, mate. We've, we've just got a good, uh, very good group of lads here. We're very close knit, um, and it's just just great to play with them. It's enjoyable every game, and uh, I think we, we we really enjoyed our defence tonight. Champions of the world, how does that feel? Yeah, it's a pretty good feeling, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty surreal at the moment. We um, we set a target um, when we got over here that we wanted to be over here for business. So, um, you know, thanks for the St Helens boys for the match and um, congratulations to our boys. Blowout score though in the end, though you were just just too good. Oh, you know, it was, it was a tough match. Um, they hit hard. They got their line speed and they're really um, getting us and just really knocking us back when we had the ball on our try line. So, uh, credit to them. They played real tough. Uh, really proud of the players. Uh, we put a lot of effort into everything we did to come over here and uh, as professional as we are all the time, uh, it was great to see the boys uh, defend the way they did and get the result and obviously get the trophy. How important was it that you, you picked up where you left off last season, you know, NRL Premiers and starting this season by being crowned world champions? Yeah, we, we probably don't look about what we did last season, it's more about the now and that's what this team sit in and that's about how we want to progress forward. I mean, we, we've got round one coming up against a strong team in Brisbane, so uh, that, that's going to be our next challenge. I mean, I just said it then, I mean, you're playing against the best side in the world and I think we completed at 62% in the first half and 50% in the second half and there was at 83 and 93. So just the stats alone will tell you that you're not going to win any games by, by doing stuff like that, you know. If you if you don't keep hold of the ball in, in, in big games of rugby league and get in the arm wrestle and kick it long, then, you know, you're not going to win anything. I'm going to say it was a case of your own West Enemy for, for very long periods there. Yeah, it was. Uh, I thought my middles were outstanding. I thought my middlemen were absolutely outstanding. My outside backs were, were horrible. You know, they didn't help the middles at all. But that's rugby league, and I've, I've got a, young, a lot of young players in the side who they were going to learn a lot of things from this game. So it was a good experience all round. But you know, it's not it's not going to burn on on the competition now. We just move on and, and we play again on Friday. Finally, I know you're not going to enjoy it, but you know, how, just how good was South Sydney tonight from from a coach's point of view? I mean, from looking on, they they look. It looked like a bit of a masterclass, but how good were they? Well, they're outstanding, the best side in the world, by far. They're so clinical. It's, you know, our, my team got school tonight on how to play rugby league, and, and South are a little bit scratchy. They haven't played many games, so it's a good learning curve. You know, we watch that video back, and we'll, we'll learn a lot from that game.